What's going on guys? I want to do a little recap. So what I what you guys are actually looking at here is inside of my Tradeovate account um for futures, right? So I do use a prop firm to trade futures. I get access to more leverage, so forth and so forth. That's not what this video is about. What this is about is I did take 24 trades, 72 total contracts. The average time per trade was two minutes and eight seconds. The longest time that I was in a trade was eight minutes. Profitable percent of the time was 75%. You can see here. Um, total fees and commission $60, total PL $600 or $767. Now you can see my losing trades here. Out of a total of 24 trades, 18 trades were winners, six of them were losers. My largest losing trade was 91. My largest winning trade was 165. The average win winning trade was $60. The average losing trade was 43. So just kind of wanted to give you that little bit of perspective here. My max drawdown at one particular time was 181. Max run up was 769 at one point in time. With that kind of being taken into consideration, you can see here the average winning time on my wins and my losses is almost the same. Two minutes and 26 seconds, two minutes and two seconds. The longest losing trade was four minutes versus the longest winning trade was eight minutes. So with that kind of being, you know, examined and looked at here, you can kind of see of what type of trader that I really am, especially when it comes to trading futures. I'm looking for good, clean setups. I'm looking to scalp. I'm looking to get in, get profitable, and then just get out. Obviously, if the trade's not working for me, I want to get out as a out of that trade as soon as possible. As you can see here, the longest amount of time that I spent in a losing trade was four minutes versus the amount of time that I spent in a winning trade was eight minutes. So if I just kind of uh, zoom out on that, I don't like to take anything right off the bell. I like to kind of wait first five, 10, 15 minutes to let things set up. What I was using here was a, a little bit of a different approach today. I was using the nine EMA, which is the white line that you see on my screen. I was using, uh, uh, cross reference between the five and the two. So what I was looking at here was quickly was looking at the two minute chart and I would kind of look here. Let me just kind of go back to what I was looking at. If we kind of go a little bit more towards the open here on the two minute chart. <clears throat> so we can see here, this is all pre market. So I kind of want to speed this up so we can go to where the market opens here. You can see market is going to open here on this candle at 6 30 AM Pacific standard time. We did have uh, two, four, six minutes worth of drawdown here. Then we quickly reclaimed it. So again, I'm not a particular trader that's going to take the first one minute, two minutes, even three minutes. A lot of times I want five minutes to at least pass. I want that first five minute rush to kind of get out of the way. And then I want to look and see what we're doing here. But this was my first trade of the day. Now, again, you've seen I took 24 trades. OK, uh, you know, I'm in and out of these plays as long as they're confirming breaking high of days. I'm going to kind of stay in them. But I'm going to show you just a couple of them, because if you just stick to the same strategy, guys, and you respect your stop loss and you respect the strategy you will be profitable it eliminates all emotions out of the game my first trade was here you can see at 6 36 a.m pacific standard time we get our first close over the 9 ema next candle at 6 38 confirms that i get long here yes we did have two about two to four minutes worth of drawdown and pullback all we are looking to make sure that happens is we stay closing over the 9 ema now if either one of these two candles was to close under the 9 ema i would have had to get out of the trade i'm going to go ahead and continue to ride this trade up until I am comfortable. Guys, you never know where things are going to stop. They can continue to run all day. They can run for an hour. They can run for five minutes. They can run for a minute. Where you get out is the art of trading okay you have to understand your position sizing you have to understand what is a good day for you you have to understand your emotions if you make a hundred dollars two hundred dollars a thousand dollars is that good enough to call it a day or are you going to sit there and kind of give back profits taking trade after trade after trade after trade now normally for myself i don't like to take you know 20 30 40 50 trades in a day but I'm working on a new strategy. I'm working on gathering data. Uh, and the only way that I can work on a new strategy is by volume. Okay. Trading is a numbers game. It's all about volume. I need to see uh, how this particular strategy is going to work over the course of, 
you know, 20, 40, 60, 100 trades. Uh, so I'm just about 30, 40 trades in. So far, it's two for two as far as green days. Yesterday, I was profitable, I think, $650, and today was close to $750, which is fine. I am using buying power worth $50,000. I am a funded trader as well, so I do have to give a 10% commission split to uh, my prop firm. With that being taken into consideration here, you can see the next play, this play stopped me out here. I got into this play here. You can see it closes over the 90 MA 706, does quickly head fake me and then closes under. This is a very easy play. You get in, you get out. No harm, no foul. Here's another play here. Confirms 12, uh, 257. Time was 716, confirms on the next candle at 718, you get in. Yes, it does pull back. However, consolidates, does not close under the nine and then begins to kind of trickle higher. Guys, all I'm doing using the nine EMA, I'm using the two minute time frame. I'm looking for any sort of change in trend. Close over under, the next candle has to confirm the top wick of that. So if we're going long, what we want to see is a stock or the, either one of the indexes, whether you're trading the NASDAQ or the SPY or the Dow, what you wanna see is if we're trading under, you want to see it close over the 9 EMA, you want the next candle to confirm the high. As soon as it does that, you wanna go ahead and get long as long as we stay over the 9 EMA. You're gonna go ahead and ride that trade up until you're comfortable and where you see fit, where you can potentially stop out for the either day or know that you can start to build a cushion for the rest of the day. I hope this video makes sense. If you guys wanna trade futures with me or you guys are interested in learning how to day trade options, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.